SolidWorks 2010 made some great changes to the whole wizard. I think as a foundation tool were worth mentioning. Now in the past, if you wanted a 2D sketch for your whole wizard hole, you'd have to pre-select that 2D face and launch the whole wizard. If you wanted it on a 3D face, you'd either pre-select a non, you know, a non-planar face, or you would just launch it without selecting anything and select it after the fact. What you'll notice in 2010 is that I can launch this at any time. Notice we do have support for Australian standards as well. But what's neat about this is that I can go in, I can pick whatever type I want, and when I go into the positions location, I now can pick right here. So I can say, all right, I want to, I want a hole right like this and you know I want to go ahead and maybe put in some other information in fact what's interesting is that if you've ever done any patterns you can actually ap ap approach these patterns now within 2D sketches I used to avoid using the patterning tools primarily because the instance counts were accessible for any type of co you know configuration so what you'll notice now is if I go through and pick what I want to pattern and then maybe want to go in and use a, a location to locate it you'll notice that when I hit OK obviously there are my holes my preview but what you'll notice is when I pick on it you can see the instance count and because the instance count is selectable that means it's also selectable for configurations so a lot of times you can approach something like this instead of adding one hole and then going back and adding another pattern you can do it within here and easily I can just click on this and make changes to it so if I wanted to make this uh, you know, another instance, you know, I can change that, I can hit OK, and I can rebuild and, and get the updates. Now another kind of nice thing about going through the whole wizard was inside of drawings if you ever added a cosmetic thread. And so what you'll notice is if I just zoom in here, I'm just going to right click and I'm going to add an annotation on here. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw in a cosmetic thread. And what you'll notice is that instead of just having to specify kind of a generic term like this where I have to specify the information, I can actually grab a standard, pick the size, make it go through all. And when I add it in the drawing, it adds all the right information. But when I flip back over to the part, you'll notice it's also been updated. So this information is now bi-directional. Notice it actually shows up in that cut as part of the feature. And, you know, obviously if you wanted to add things like, let's say, straight pipe taps, this is something that's also supported in 2010. So if I wanted to go through, go into the positions, maybe I want to do a straight tap. I want to go to the positions and pick on a, a face that's not planar. And then I can go through and obviously use all my location tools. So if I wanted to go in and add a dimension, you know, I could do that as well. Let's make this half inch. And then I could also go through and use other tools to maybe align it the way I want. So let's just grab these two entities, make them on the plane. And then I can go ahead and hit OK. And those cosmetic threads will come in as well. So some nice changes to Whole Wizard, just kind of making it a little bit more streamlined from front to back.